Hi everybody, my name is Brent Atwater. Welcome to our 12 days of Christmas. We're plus we do more than that videos. Um, we're trying to help heal your heart and to address issues that a lot of people deal with over the holiday season. Now, let me tell you the story about these little bears. When my Mike was alive, he was my fiance that was killed. He and I would go to New York every year to buy presents for our family and friends. And so at that point in time, my grandmother was 101 and Nanny was in the nursing home. So Mike and I went to New York and I said, Mikey, I want to get something. I want to get something for Nanny. And I want it to be just wonderful because I want it to brighten up her room and brighten up her life. And I want everybody at the home to come in and look at it and just be, wow, isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? So it will bring people and create conversation and just lighten up her life. So while we were shopping, we found this little bear bandstand. Let me play it for you. It does 35 different songs. And it was the hit of the nursing home. And for two or three years, it was the best thing that anybody ever got to see. And they were all mesmerized by it. Look at their little heads. And if I let it, it'll just play 35 songs, one after the other, one after the other, and I don't have to push the button. But there was a time that after Nanny passed, that I put this up. Hear the silence? I didn't bring it out. Because I thought if I did, I'd cry. And I thought it would force me to let go of the sadness and I'd be dishonoring Mike because if he was gone, then all the things that he and I did together should be gone. So I just thought, okay, I'll put this thing up because it reminds me of Mike and I don't want to dishonor his memory and I just don't want to let go yet. About ten and a half years later, I was talking to Mike in spirit and he said, where are the bears? And I mean, what do you mean, where are the bears? And he said, our Christmas bears, where are our Christmas bears? And I said, oh, Mike, I can't bring those out. It's going to make me look at it every day and think about the sadness. He said, think about the sadness. Remember how we used to dance to those bears and how much fun we used to have? And he said, turn those bears on. I said, okay, what do you think? He said, now that's better. Remember when we did this and remember when we did that? And I went, yeah. He says, can you floss Looks like a person in the home trying to floss, doesn't it? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so the point being is, when I got the bears back out, it made me smile, and it made me remember, and it made me let go of the sadness. So I didn't let go of Mike. I didn't let go of the love. I let go of what the hurt and pain was in my head. So when you think you're letting go of the love and you're moving on, you're not. You're letting go of the grief and the anger and the pain and the hurt. And that's what they want you to do. So get out your things that you think, oh, I can't bring those out. Bring them out, turn them on, and enjoy them and celebrate with your spirit the fun things. And if they got music, learn how to do the floss and dance with them. Because what you're letting go of is the grief, the sadness, and the discomfort in your heart. And what you're going forward to is the joy and continuing, c -c 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 continuing, hear that? C -c 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 continuing your never ending love. That way you're not shutting it down, you're c -c 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 continuing it. And that's what matters. Okay? So, get your bears out, turn on the music. Sing along and continue your never-ending love. Bye-bye-bye.